Hello and welcome to Craft the World. It's been a while for those of you who remember this series on the channel. I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. And the reason why I stopped the series um, that we had going, it had reached 40 episodes, I think, was because we had just unlocked a new world and there wasn't really anything new other than, well, a new world, but there weren't any new technologies or stuff like that. And for those of you who don't know what Craft the World is, we'll get right into that in just a second. But I just realized that they released two new DLCs, Bosses and Monsters and Abandoned Mines. The Abandoned Mines, I'm pretty sure, um, generates like abandoned mines down on the ground and I thought that would be pretty cool but the bosses and monsters I think would create events um, I think I saw one screenshot where a skeleton ship had just landed at the beach right here actually and skeletons were now coming onto the mainland and other stuff as well and I think that would be pretty awesome and makes this game even more interesting plus I haven't played it in a long time so I thought why not try and play it again plus I think it is one of the most Maybe one of the series with the most views. There's one video that has like 2400 views, if not even more by now. I don't know. <laughs> and the last vi video I did of this series was episode 40, and I think it has like 120 views or something. So that's that's pretty good. And I thought I, I kind of want to play this game again because I, I really do think it's fun. I just kind of got tired of it so I kind of need of I kind of needed a break from it so here we are um, now I don't know if I should call this episode 1 season 2 because we will be rebooting the the ice world here if I say choose level here and let's just do that uh, new campaign let me show you here because we unlocked this and we need to reset this world for the new stuff to generate it basically this restart button um, for this new stuff to be generated. We didn't really do much in there anyway, so I don't know. Leave your thoughts down below. Should we call this Season 2, Episode 1, or should we call it Episode 41, Starting Over, or something like that? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We completed this world, we created the portal and everything, and we went over to this new world. Um, as you can see, we've only been playing 41 minutes on it, not too much. So it shouldn't be too bad to restart. Let's restart it. You want to show you what to restart this level? Yes. Let us begin. Leave your thought down below. Season 2, Episode 1, New Beginning. Or Season 1, Episode 41, The Continuation or something. Let me know down in the comments below. I'll just set something and then I can change the title. Okay. Now. Okay then. Uh, new stuff has happened. Okay, let me... Uh, that's not the pause button. There we go. <laughs> okay, before we start playing... Let us take a look at what this game actually is. Basically, it is a 2D game where you control a bunch of dwarfs. Now, you don't control them by saying, you go cut this block, you go cut this tree. You basically put a bunch of tasks by clicking on it and they will disperse and do it on their own. And yeah, who does what? They, they, order, they, they fiddle with that themselves. Um, I just need to say, do this, do that, this needs to be done, this stone, this end needs to be dug, this needs to be done, etc, etc. And they do it. Oh, we have a, uh, we have a yeti camp over here. Um, and that's basically the game. Um, we have crafting recipes here, as you can see, we have some basics unlocked here. Research library. Okay, that's new. Uh, we got some stuff already unlocked. That's I'm looking for. Ooh. I don't know what this is. Okay, that's weird. Um, okay, okay. Let's take a look at the research table. Because this is the table... Oh. What on earth is this? This new? <laughs> uh, learn ability... Research has little... Okay. Uh, production speed... Has that come new technology too then? Eh. No. The end is still mithril, which is pretty hard to get, i um, pretty sure, still. Since it's at the end of the tech tree. There might be some new stuff, crafted materials in here or there. Like, I know there were some like the ice wall and such, but that was kind of like, eh. Um, but this is new. Okay. Sweet. So basically that is the game. You 
complete like this technology tree. So now we have all of these unlocked, for example. And then we have this new basic weaponry will be unlocked once we complete advanced ironworking, which we do by making an iron forge and crafting some of these stuff that is in here. Where's the ironworking book? Ink, I think that's new too, and I don't know what this is. I feel like that might be a mistake, because I do remember once I had a bug where nothing would show, and I do remember I found a fix for it, so we'll have to take a look at that. Um, but yeah, everything else seems to be working just fine. Plus it might be intended for that, I don't know. Let's get started, we need some wood to be cut. Also we want this ice out of here, and this, and uh, nope, not that yet. So that is basically it. And we also have a XP bar up here each time we unlock a new level. A new dwarf will come and it will be harder and harder to progress in the levels. You can see the data type of day here. Uh, we can allow dwarves to not leave the shelter. That will basically be set up in just a bit. Let me see where's our inventory. Here's our inventory. We don't have anything yet. This is basically our stockpile. They will carry everything, all the loot and stuff, all this stuff. They will carry it over to this stockpile um, to be gathered. Let's cut those trees as well, like it does right now. So this is the stockpile, and we want to kind of make our base around this uh, stockpile because every, they will all, always be carrying stuff over there. Settings and task priorities. Preparing for battle, gathering resources, custom. I don't want to deal too much with that. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so this is our, what's this called again? Uh, I don't remember what this is called, but basically this is kind of like some goals we can go for. So like completing advanced woodworking will give us 200 XP. There are some notes here. I'm not too sure how can I defend against monsters. Some tips and tricks in here, I guess. The beastery, uh, beast, beastery, beast, dip, beast, dip, dip, dip. I'll figure out how to say that in the next episode. <laughs> Basically, in here is all the, here's the book of all the monsters that we know and discovered in the last game playthrough series. I don't know, in the past, in the past. Um, yeah, and we we got into some pretty big battles, and here we got the yetis. Those are over here. I'm pretty sure. No, no, they're not yetis. I don't think. I don't think they're yetis. Then, no, there's something else. I don't know what it is. I don't want to click on them because that will say attack me. Also, this world is way bigger than the previous one. Um, yeah, what's that? What is that? I mean, that's a pretty cool chest here, but I'm pretty sure that this building will summon something big. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. How about that? Okay, I thought they were going for us. They better not be mobilizing. They better not, because we only got one dwarf here, and that's not enough to... Uh, that's not enough to defend. What does this do? I, I don't know what that does. I'll have to see if it's the bug or not. Uh, let's craft that. Okay. Let us craft some stuff. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bam. We need some we need some clubs. How about that? We need some clubs. We need some stone. We need some stone. We need to start digging. So here we leveled up, we got our totem, and we got a new dwarf, and we got a cone. The totem is made once we build a shelter, like, up, then we can um, then we can put the totem in there, and that will tell the dwarves, hey, this is your home. Uh, that is very useful. We also got portal, We sorry, we also have mana, because we, as the master of these guys, can make spells, like make a portal that will lead back to this bit here. Um, which is useful if we wanted to go all the way, let's say, over here to the spout to get stone, which in fact I will tell them to do. To go ahead and mine a bunch of stone and the portal lasts for a little bit. And we have a certain amount of spells and we will also unlock them eventually. We also have the magic light, for example, um, and we will unlock more eventually. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. For example, there were this cave down here, which I kind of want to see what is. So I will pick the magic light here and go and explore it a little bit though it will cost mana so I don't want to do that too much okay so it's a natural cave here that's nice now it's snowing let's see what recipes did we unlock we unlocked the totem we unlocked the stone 
I want a little bit more stone before we um before we continue making stuff. Uh, where is the thing? I need to find the beware signs. Beware signs will basically do so the dwarfs won't go close to these guys. So when they go over here and see that sign, they will be like, nope, don't go there, and they won't go there. Oh, snow is falling as well. Ugh. Okay then. That's uh, that's not fun. <laughs> also, the actually it is quite fun. Um, the mana also regenerates, as you can see. Also, from each level up, it will completely refill the mana. And here we can see the population. Now we got a new task: collect nine out of ten stone. They should hopefully be doing that. Oh, we got a book here, a smithing book. We can apply that because let's take a look at our dwarfs here. As you can see, this guy is Belgan. We can see his hunger. They do need food. Yes, they do have health. We can look at his attack damage, I think. And he's a stonemason. He is good at working with stone stuff. Here we can see their tools, their armor, and their accessories. We can give them backpacks and extra accessories. And if we wanted to make this guy better at smithing, for example, we can click on the book and click use. I don't want to do that, though. Let's see. We got Gaunt here. Let us give him a wooden club for better defending himself. Actually, let's not do that yet, because we only got, uh, yeah, 39 seconds. Let's see if we can get that too. Yep, I think we can do it. Come on, 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 guys. You, you get this, you get this. There we go. Now go through the portal, quick. Go through the portal. And I'm going to close it so they don't go through and get stuck over there. Here we have Grad's job. We can buy stuff with coins in here. So, like, we can buy materials. If we want a mithril, for example, we could buy it. Um, and the coins we find, I'm pretty sure, by just mining. I think we might just find them by mining ores. I don't know if we will find them from, like, dirt and stuff. Now they're just standing there talking. We can also press space to tell them to go rest, go eat, uh, equip stuff. And we can also hand control one. So, right now, I'm controlling this guy. Um, like this. Yep, there we go. He jumps. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Cut down. Okay. Let us make some more uh, stuff. I still need to remember the keybinds here. Let's make two, uh, two, two stone axes. Not everything is just crafted like this, this easily. Sometimes you do need a workstation for the uh, dwarves to go over to and start working at. And then it will take time for stuff to be made. All right, let's take a look at the tech tree here. Um, advanced line working. I think we just gotta f not focus on these right now. I think we just gotta focus on getting uh, get a shelter built. And I'm not sure how we best can do this. Probably with stone and wood. I would prefer. I guess we can start with a wooden structure. I guess we can do that. Uh, let's get some more of this. And let us. No, I don't want to use wood for building really. I think it is the best thing to do though. Let us get that and let us see. One, two, three. Let us start over here. We can always expand. Oh, there we got a beetle thing. Oh, it died. Okay. I guess it might be too cold for it. I don't know. We can't build with wood. Let's see. Did we unlock that yet? Uh, one walls, one walls, one walls. Pretty sure we should have. Yeah, there it is. One wall. Oh, yeah. We need to make them first. Whoopsie, I'm forgetting stuff. Uh, there we go. It's not like in Minecraft where you have planks and then you can just do things. <laughs> it's not that easy. Let's get some basic stuff set up here. We need some beds and stuff. So we also kind of need to start digging down. You know what? Let's get that too and we'll use the stone to our advantage here. Let's make it build stone there and let us put that wall up there once that stone is built. Yeah, I kind of want the roof going over here, and I guess we could actually use the eyes as scaffolding since it breaks kind of quickly. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of no. Get rid of it. Put wood up here, like so. Put wood up here. Actually, it is. Uh, stop that. It is actually kind of. You can't build snow here. Okay, it is kind of dumb because you need to put the background and the actual block itself, like this, which is kind of annoying. But oh well. Okay, so build wood, build wood, build wood. Alright, we're building. See, that counts as a full block. Now something can stand on it. 
And it is dark. Eek! Okay, let us get this there. Now something can only come down here if they... Uh, if they jump. If they bail. <laughs> Let's do that. Let me see, have we unlocked locks yet? Yes, we have. So we can make a wooden hatch. I do want that. Have we unlocked doors then? I wonder. We do need more wood. So that is kind of why I didn't feel like uh, doing this exact thing with the wood in the background. Because uh, that is annoying. Um, can we unlock doors? Let me see. Yes, we did. But we need an iron for that because that requires iron. Okay. Let us dig into here. We can remove that. Dig that. Dig that. Dig that. 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 And I feel like we could just go down here into the mines right here. Cut that wood. We unfortunately can't speed up time of day. So I just hope that nothing creepy crawly ish would come for us. Hopefully not anyway. We just need a bunch of wood here and we should be good to go. In fact, I'm gonna tell them to break that just for now. We can replace that with ice or something later on. Let's dig that. Let us go get these trees here. And also, we can... Do we have ladders? If we don't have ladders, I'm gonna be surprised. Yes, we do. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's put that there. I don't feel like I need the stone right now. I'm gonna save that for tools. We'll need that eventually. Uh, leaves. What does this like smoke particles represent? I wonder. What's down here? We got coal. We don't have iron yet though. There's no iron here just yet. I just hope no creepy crawlies will come. Let's get out the area. I think this guy's nasty, but he's way over here. Um, we have these guys. Oh, we have. Oh no. Okay, um, guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> um, could you please build that kind of ASAP? Yeah, he's, he's coming. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, um, hmm, hmm, okay then, um, I'm able to build snow there. Well, that's just great now, isn't it? Uh, Let's build stone. No, let's just use the wood. Why not? And use the wood there, there. Put that rather fast. Hopefully that will keep it off until the daytime at least. We can put a ladder here. And these stupid ghosts. They go into our stockpile and just throw things out. Like that. And become an issue. Uh, I don't want this guy... Oh, I think he gave up. Okay, good. We're safe. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Uh, let us... That's plenty of wood. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get rid of that. Because now we can actually... I did this so we can just get up there, actually. And do stuff. So let us actually get rid of that. And we'll replace that with wood as well. Let's see, how much wood do we have? Five. We need more. Let's just make a portal for them. Right here. Make it easier. There we go. Go make that, guys. Um... Normally I would use stone for building. There we go. Killed that guy. But um, yeah. I feel like using wood, even though that is gonna be a tedious work getting a bunch of wood for this. But I just want a basic shelter set up right now before we leave. Uh, let's see. Can I dig and put a hatch here? And we need another ladder two actually just to make it uh, even there let's make get rid of that stupid yeah get that guy he's annoying get that snow as well get that too do that all right I feel like we should probably soon get down in the mines here and we need some coal we need an iron so we gotta get down uh, so let us get rid of that we can build from up here so that's fine we can now get... Okay, we can't get to here yet, apparently. We can... As soon as these guys start working like that... Ooh, Warrior's Book. Nice. Those are the only ones that I really use. Warrior and Archer Books and Mage Books. Those are the main ones that I use. We will also get a new dwarf very soon. 
so that is very nice. I should get rid of that as well. I can just get a new portal here going for them. Not a amount of mana. We can make potions as well, that we can make the dwarves drink. And then... Yeah, we basically get the effects. Nice. A new dwarf. Let us make a club for him. Let us make a that. And let us make a that. Nice, nice, nice. Let's take a look at our new guy. We have two guys named Gond. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be the situation where we shout Gond. And then both turn around and say, yes, what? <laughs> uh, fun. I do realize there's no stone under here, though. There is here, actually. We could make, like, a... Thing. A trench. I've never... Th I've never thought of making trenches in this game. Why have I never thought of that? Okay. We can make a big trench right here. And then we can make a bridge in the future. Ooh. Me likey this idea. Okay, that's cool, actually. We also need to start creating some armor. Also, by the way, now you saw we leveled up and all of our mana has been restored, plus the capacity has been upgraded. I think the capacity gets upgraded each and every time, which is very nice. Let's see, how much wood do we have? Plenty, plenty, plenty. Let's finish the shelter so we can call it an episode. Let's build that right there. Um, let's get rid of that. And I really, really want iron, but there is none whatsoever nearby. And we have no coins, so we can't buy it. I feel like we should dig right here. Uh, let us actually get in another hatch. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's uh, get rid of that and let us go over here to Grant's place and hopefully he won't mind recutting his his trees here. I don't think he will mind because, um, yeah, they'll grow right back up as this annoying one. All right, so right now I have controlled this. I'm controlling this dwarf just because this building took a little bit too long. So one of the things that you can do um, when you control them, is built instantly. They don't have to go to the stockpile, get what they, get the block that they need. They just automatically get it once you control the guy. So I can build a lot faster right now, doing this, and it can be recommended, I think, for one building, because well, yeah, it goes a lot faster. Now I will admit it is kind of stupid to put wood as the background here, and people pro probably cringing about right now because it's a waste of wood when I could just be using dirt, for example, but, um, it's what I got right now, so, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we can, I think we can, uh, fix that eventually. Uh, I would like to also get a wooden flooring. Okay, but now we have a shelter here, and we can just put a door over here, though I'm not gonna unlock that right now, because we don't want to get attacked. I can release this guy now. Um... And take a look here what we got, what we got. We got some chitin, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> chitin. Uh, we do have wood, dirt. Let me see if we can do this, actually. If we put this as here, and then, let me see. Replace wooden wall. Let's just, eh. I don't know if that will break this one or the one behind it. Also, I'm going to put a ladder right here and this hatch right here, because I want to get down in the mines and start digging for stuff. Um, we will have snow on the roof, but that's fine, I guess. I guess we'll just have to remove that. Yeah, that's a lot of... That's a, that's a lot of snow. I'm just gonna put a portal for those guys since it ran out. Nice. That is a way to speed up time, though I'm not sure how, so I'm not gonna do it right now. But I do kind of want to end the episode right here, just to want to see if we can do this. No. We do have to break the entire thing. Oh no. <laughs> then I have to select the dirt. Replace wooden wall. No one will see it once the wall is set. Oh no. Okay then. Uh, that's an issue. Okay. And then I think we can put this right here. Build one wall. And I don't think we will be able to notice. If we will, well then it's fine. I just want to see this. Um, hurry up. Nope, you can see it. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna end this episode right here because this guy is breaking through and I wanna end this episode here. So I hope you enjoyed in the next one. We will be fighting this uh, Yeti right here. He's big and dangerous. We do have three dwarves, so hopefully we will be able to take him out. Maybe we can even craft some armor? Maybe? We don't have rope. 
and we don't have wool so we don't have any sheep sheep but we should maybe have enough stuff to, yeah we do have enough stuff to make three helmets so we're gonna do that in the next episode but for right now i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet and of course leave down below in the comments what do you think we should do consider this season two or in the continuation of the original series let me know down in the comments below anyways hope you enjoyed share it with your friends and uh yeah hope to see you next time <laughs> have a wonderful day <laughs> goodbye